What I really want to review today for our members is the kipping toes to bar. It's a phenomenal technique, but it also tends to be one uh, that individuals struggle with. Uh, and I think there are various reasons for that. Uh, the most obvious is going to be strength to body weight ratio. If you can't have an athlete who, um, who can't hang on the bar for at least 30 seconds to a minute, this is going to be impossible to perform. So we're already looking at uh, modifications for that movement. But I think likewise, one of the things to consider as well is hamstring length, right? Uh, um, the easiest way to test capacity here is can you touch your toes from the standing position with your legs locked out? Obviously, this athlete has built some efficiency through the toes to bar because he's able to bend his knees and, and flick his toes to the bar. And um, number three, uh, the most obvious, his ability to connect these reps back and forth has to do with his capacity to uh, – KIP, K-I-P, forward and back across this frontal plane. And from the side view, what you're going to see is that he brings his chest forward and his legs back. This is a pendulum, if you will. When his chest comes back, his legs come forward. When his chest comes forward, his legs come back. This produces a really effective powerful swing where most people see that as a movement that it's happening with his legs. He's really dominating this movement with the shoulder flexion and shoulder extension. I want to show this one more time so you can really understand what's happening, but really we're teaching athletes primarily to learn how to kip, K-I-P, using shoulder extension and flexion, pressing down into the bar and relaxing to come forward. That cue alone will effectively teach an athlete how to kip, K-I-P, so that they can kick, K-I-C-K, their toes to the bar. And again, we want to learn through threshold training, building capacity through a small volume of reps and building that up over time. I hope that helps. Thanks for listening.